Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sam. I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. This is a show that offers cutting edge information on how to improve your vision and overall wellness through holistic methods. I so appreciate you spending part of your day with me. If you have questions, you can send them to hello at drsamburn.com. Now to the latest Eye Clarity episode. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam, and I want to welcome you to another edition of my Eye Clarity podcast. So before I get started, I want to talk a little bit about the MSM Mist. You know, I just released the the pre-sale product, and people are now receiving it, and I'm getting rave reviews. So the 15% MSM is an alternative to the 15% eye drops. One of the reasons why I developed this mist is because number one, the eyelids are a place where we really develop a lot of inflammation and this can really wreak havoc on our corneas, create dry eye syndrome, meibomian gland dysfunction, blepharitis. And so the mist is a tool that you can use throughout the day as you're on your screen time to not only lubricate and moisturize the eyelids, but create a soothing anti-inflammatory effect that is going to go a long way in sustaining your eyes and vision. So check it out, the 15% MSM Mist. It's up on my web store and... uh I hope uh, you know. Hope it works for you. Send me your feedback at hello at drsamburn.com. So let's get to the show today. I want to talk about red light therapy. Can it help our eyes? There was a recent study that was published by the University College London in the UK. Dr. Glenn Jeffrey headed up the study and. He basically was looking at, can being exposed to deep red light for a few minutes in the morning every day, could that have an effect on your eyesight and vision? And one of the things to note about the retina, the retina has one of the highest concentration of what we call mitochondria. Now, mitochondria are those organelles that produce something called ATP. In fact, I've said this before in many of my posts and blogs, that one of the reasons why we develop eye disease is because the mitochondria is not working properly, and this impedes the production of ATP. Now, ATP is important as a source of energy on a cellular level, it does many positive things, but it actually acts as energy currency of the cell. And it supplies the cell with a way to get rid of oxidative stress, reduce inflammation, improve cellular respiration. And at least in the general mainstream eye care, the common thought is that eyesight declines, well, at the age of 40, I see it declining even earlier, and it's linked to a reduction of ATP. So this means that if there would be a way that we could support the mitochondria to produce better ATP, could we regain our eyesight? Well, this is what Professor Jeffrey talked about in his study And his conclusion was that a three-minute exposure to deep red light, 670 nanometers, that's the wavelength you'd want to use, so it's a very specific cue. If you exposed yourself to this deep red light in the morning for three minutes, that you actually could activate 
the mitochondria to work better, to produce more ATB, and reduce eye deterioration. One of the studies he did was he looked at something called color contrast vision. And in the study, he found that when he exposed individuals to three minutes of deep red light in the morning, and it had to be in the morning, that the contrast vision of the participants who were exposed to this red light in the morning improved their scores by 17%. I actually think that red light therapy is something that we're going to be using more of. And it's definitely another food for the eyes and retina that can reduce the oxidative stress and inflammation, free radical damage that we see in conditions like macular degeneration, glaucoma, cataracts, dry eye syndrome, and many other eye diseases. So in terms of finding a company to work with, again, I want to do a disclaimer, I don't have any financial interest, but two companies that I like, one is called Red Rush Red Therapy Company, and the other is called Mito Red Light. So those would be two reputable companies. I've researched them. They do have the red light at that 670 nanometer level that you're going to do. Now, the the red light boxes can be very bright. So I would sit or stand at least 12 to 18 inches away from the light box. And I would start with your eyes closed. You know, the eyelids are like window shades. So they do let a little bit of light in. And some for some people that are photosensitive, sensitive to light, it's a good way to start to introduce yourself to this red light with your eyes closed. And then you can open your eyes. And again, three minutes in the morning is what you need. I would do three days a week to start with. This would be another great protocol for you to add to all the other things that I suggest and recommend. So check out red light therapy. I get two thumbs up. It's a yes for me. And uh, I appreciate your, your attention and your interactions with me. So keep it coming in terms of questions. And uh, that's our show for today. So until next time, take care. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the iClarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.